Hello and welcome to another opening stroke unboxing video with Neo Rambler. This time we have some more Yu-Gi-Oh stuff for us. We have six Legend of Blue Eyes booster packs and six Metal Raiders booster packs to open and see what wondrous surprises we get in them. I'm simply riding off the back of my uh, Legendary Collection video I did recently because it was a good blast in the past, it's cheap and while I'm currently job hunting which is not really been that successful but I have got an interview next week so you never know. Um, I just thought you know just to break things up a bit and cheer myself up I buy some very cheap booster packs. Of course these are the reprinted versions of these booster packs they're not original ones as you can tell from the logo and the width and the different wrappers and the stripes on the back and we've said this before in the last video so if you're not sure what I'm talking about check the last video out and you will know um but yeah um I've only got these two because these two sets I'm kind of interested in at the moment and I may do a video in the future perhaps of the other two booster packs that we got not the other two booster packs even sorry the other four I think it was um yeah it was it was four other booster packs that we got in the legendary collection so the next video if I do do one of these if I can afford it that is I'll do some uh, spell rule and ferris servants and then if I do that I'll end up doing dark crisis and invasion of chaos again if I can afford it but for now I'm just going to do these two and we'll see what we guess now I have actually started this video several times and the last time I actually opened up the first metal raiders booster pack um, as you can see from this opening wrapper and I got through the first three cards available and then my dad phoned me so I had to stop the video and interrupt it and it was a bit jarring oh, thanks dad but then again it, it was all good and we were just checking up on things and things are fine so it's fine so I didn't actually get to the rare or super rare or ultra rare or whatever we got but I doubt we'll get anything at all so basically I'm just starting again from the front only saw the first few cards and we'll see what rare we get or super rare or ultra rare etc etc I hope in the metal raiders though just on the off chance that we do pull something cool because last time when we did do the legendary collection video it was rubbish. I think we only pulled like four super rares, which was fair enough. You know, it's four super rares are better than no super rares, but they just weren't really that anything that special. So I'm hoping for this we can get like a Mirror Force, Black Skull Dragon. Uh, I'd love a Gate Guardian, as I've said before. There's a few others, but I can't remember off the top of my head. And then, of course, a Blue Eyes White Dragon would be nice out of these. But knowing our luck, probably not. But you never know. You never know. It's another go. It's another chance. Let's see what we get. So we have the Rainbow Flower. This is our first Metal Raiders pack, just to make it clear. Uh, which is very colourful and still not really understanding that it should be supporting the LGBT. Uh, LG, is it LG, LGBT? I forget now. Bloody hell. I've, scr I've scrambled that joke. Forget it. Abort joke. Move on. Queen's Double. That gets more work than the actual Queen herself and less pay. The Castle of Dark Illusions. Yeah, it's a very scary card. Again, one of those ones with those odd attack and defense statistics, but we like a bit of Castle of Dark Illusions. It reminds me of Castlevania. Then we've got Big Eye, who has a big eye, but also fairly big eyes around it as well. So shouldn't that be Big Eyes? I don't know. Pretty good card that back in the day, and I think it's still used in some decks. Maybe not the um, meta decks or anything, but still pretty good. And we've got our rare, which is a Witch's Apprentice. So there you go. We've got the Queen's Double and the Witch's Apprentice working together to try and take down the capitalistic movement of Yu-Gi-Oh, which didn't work very well, is what it is. And, oh, I think we have got a super rare. Hooray, it's a twin-headed Thunder Dragon. That's not bad. Not bad at all, considering the Thunder Dragons are getting support or have got support recently. So that's really cool. I forgot about Twin Headed Thunder Dragon. Well, that's not bad at all. If this is the only super rare we get, it's a pretty cool one. I mean, it's only a fusion monster, but still one that was iconic if you played Yu-Gi-Oh! The Forbidden Memories. Yes, I used to play that. Yeah, so very good. Hooray, we have a first super rare. Well, that's not bad at all. Then we have the Ancient Brain that everyone's forgotten about because... Well, it's ancient. Uh, the Flame Cerebus, or Cerebus, or Cerebrus, or however you pronounce it. Probably not Cere Yeah, Cerebrus. Oh, I don't know. It's a three-headed dog on fire. You're not really going to be concerned about pronouncing its name. You're going to run away in fright, or get eaten. One of the two. And then, sadly, we end with the Unhappy Maiden. Lots of female cards in this booster pack, haven't we? And all of them working very hard and not very high up in world. Come on, Yu-Gi-Oh! It's all about quality these days, you silly fools. Right, anyway, so that's that then. We'll go a recap of the super rares and hollows and maybe a few rares afterwards. Um, we're going to open it, so we'll do Metal Raiders, then Legend of Blue Eyes, then Metal Raiders, then Legend of Blue Eyes. You know, alternate. So let's do Blue Eyes then. Let's see what we get. I made that clear in the first take I did this before my dad interrupted, but I can't remember if I did in this one. But now you know we're going to alternate. Right, Blue Eyes then. Let's get a Blue Eyes White Dragon. That's really all I'm interested in. Although a Ray Gecko would be good. Dark Hole maybe. Swords of Revealing Light. Rather not have a Swords of Revealing Light because I used to pull a lot of those as a kid, but eh, still a good card. So we've got the Book of Secret Arts. And it's still secret because nobody can understand what the bloody hell is written in it. We've got the Medabat. 
he meditates, he offers medicine, but he's a bat, so it's hard for him to get a job. We then got the Green Phantom King, which looks a bit like a woman, but again, in this day and age where you can be anything you want, I'm just being a bit close minded, I suppose. I couldn't think of a better word for that. Larvas. Look at the eyes. Look at the eyes and tell me they're not made of larvas. And then we've got Fusionist. <laughs> <laughs> which apparently um there's like an instant fusion deck that you can make and this is supposed to be quite good along with dark fire dragon and all that sort of stuff so hey ho and then we've got violent crystal so no hollow this time but that's okay which uh you equip to zombie type monsters not sure why it's a violet crystal to do that and zombies and i've been playing the resident evil 2 remake and as far as i'm concerned i didn't see any violet crystals in it although the g virus sample was a purpley violet color so maybe given the right conditions you could crystallize it sandstone that's not sandstone. That is a monster. Get it right, card. Then we got Nemurico or Nemurico. It's just sucking his thumb, like usual, in denial that he's even been born. I don't blame him, really. And then we got the Tripwire Beast, which is a pretty cool looking card. And again, it's quite popular if you played Forbidden Memories at the beginning. Marvellous. Okay, no uh, hollow in that one, but that's fine. Back to Metal Raiders then. Let's see what else we can get. Let's try and keep the ball rolling, Neo, because you tend to ramble far too much. Lots of comments on my Resident Evil 2 Let's Play going, who's this annoying wanker? He's been rambling for 10 minutes and he hasn't even started the game yet. And all I can say to that is, my name's Neil Rambler. That's what I do. But then again, you're free to say what you want because I believe in free speech. So Petite Moth, who's probably not that petite really, but um, given the nature of the card and how it evolves over the course of the game, we'll give it the benefit of the doubt. Occubeam! Should have gone to Specsavers. Uguchi! Should have gone to the Doctor's. And there we go, we've got Great Moth as our rare. So yes, I think it's Petite Moth. No, it's not Petite Moth, is it? It's Lava Moth, I think. No, what's it called? I don't know, we might see it in this booster pack later. <gasps> and we got an Ultra Rare! We've got a Time Wizard! No way! Oh, that's so cool! Oh, that's brilliant! I was actually... Do you know what? Before I was doing... Before I made this video... A few days ago when I was gathering up the boost packs from the from the post, um, I thought to myself, God, wouldn't it be great if I pulled a Time Wizard? Because I've been watching the original um, anime series, Yu-Gi-Oh! The Julius Kingdom, because that's my favourite one. as campy and as weird as it is. I love it to bits. Um, yeah, Time Wizard's used a lot by uh, Joey. And um, I thought to myself, yeah, back in the day when I used to play this as a kid, that's high school and all that, um, I actually traded for an Ultra Rare Time Wizard. Um, never pulled one. Although, if you bought the Joey starter deck back in the day when starter decks were about, then um, you could get a common version. But we've now pulled an Ultra one hooray so metal raider so far proving to be the big winner here that's brilliant oh well that's made that up for it then i like time wizard good card always a bit of fun to gamble with jirai gumo yeah that was used by the paradox brothers wasn't it but i can't remember what they called it. they called it something else and it had different attack and defense statistics whatever's it's a big fuck off spider it's gonna be scary uh hibikimi hibi 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 kaim I don't think it matters really. She's a woman with a scythe. You're not really going to question it. Germ infection. So that's the T virus and what it does to you when it infects you. Mm. And you can equip it to monster cards and turn them into zombies. Isn't that wonderful? Actually, no, you can't turn it into uh, zombies. But it says the attack of a non-machine monster equipped with this card is decreased. So it does weaken it. Marvellous. And then Guilty of the Dark Knight. Hooray. Another staple of Joey's. Actually, no, it wasn't a staple really, was it? Or was it a staple? He, he uses it once against Bandit Keith, I think, uh, in the original series. And I haven't really watched Battle City for a while or anything. So I can't remember if he uses it more than once. I'm sure he does. Grand. Okay, right. Come on, Blue Eyes. You need to pick up the slack a bit here. Metal Raiders is kicking your ass at the moment. Right. There we go, then. Do, 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 do. We start with the Book of Secret Arts once again. We still don't understand. Another Medabat. I think I can see where this is going. I think I definitely can see where this is going. Didn't we pull these cards already? Except we've got a Reaper of the Cards as our rare instead. So there you go. That's different. He's a pretty cool card. Select one trap card on the field and destroy it. Select card set. Pick it up and save. Strike card destroyed. If a spell card returns to its original position. Useful. Can always look at things. No hollow again. But we've got the Steel Ogre Grosso number one. He is number one. Don't argue with him. The Legendary Sword. I'm sure there's more powerful ones out there though. M Warrior number one. I think we saw M Warrior number two in a previous video before. But there you go. And finally, Remove Trap. If you don't have a Reaper of the Lost Cards or whatever that card was called, you can have this, except it's face-up trap cards. Probably not useful today. Right, must pause the video because this can only record in 10-minute intervals because, I don't know, HD, 1060, phone, whatever. Back in a sec. Okay, after a bit of housekeeping, let's carry on with the next Metal Raiders booster pack. Let's see what we can get. <laughs> Right, well, it's been really good to us so far, Metal Raider, so if it's rubbish from now on, I don't mind so much. But you never know, we can always keep the ball rolling. We have the Mystic Lamp. I wonder if it's the same one that Aladdin found. Never know. Then we've got Harpy Lady, but it's the censored version. 
because the uncensored version, I think you could see, you know, her bra and all that stuff and a bit of chest, but oh well, whatever. We're very sensitive here in the West. We don't believe in that sort of thing. <laughs> Hypocrite. Ancient lizard warrior. Pretty cool looking, actually. You don't see it very often. And a cocoon of evolution. So I think uh, it says you can equip this card from your hands and equip spell card to face a petite moth. Oh, no, we were right then. So petite moth can. Oh, no, that wasn't petite moth, was it? Or was it? I don't know. We'll look it up later. But either way, you use this and you can get great moth and other stuff as well. And then mass sorcerer. Yes, yeah, so we've got the tune version of that as well, which I think is a bit better. Um, but then again, Toon Mass Soldier can't attack on the first turn. But then if you use Toon Kingdom and combine it or Toon World, then it's protected and blah, blah, blah. I don't know. I prefer the Toon version, but I've always been a Toon fan myself. Like I said in my previous video, even though they're rubbish cards, I love them to bits. But here's the original one. And if you inflict damage to your opponent's life points, with this card, you can draw one card from your deck. So, yeah, I don't know if it's useful or not. Maybe, maybe not. It was back in the day. No Hollow this time, but we do have a Skull Knight. Tainted Wisdom and Ancient Brain gives us this rather scary warrior. So I guess next time take the Tainted Wisdom and Ancient Brain more seriously, I guess. Paralyzing Potion, which is quite a staple in uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Judas of the Roses. Try and paralyze your monsters infinitely. Very useful, though. Lady of Faith. Bless her. She has faith that the world is a nice place. Spoilers, it's not. And then finally we got Block Attack. So, you know, you can change the battle position of a card if you want. And then they can't attack, I guess. Maybe. I have no idea. Anyway, whatever's. Come on, Legend. Let's get another. Come on, we need something. Ooh, that one opened up quite easily. I think this might be a reseal job. Why would you even reseal? Why would you reseal a reprint? Seriously, I can understand them resealing like first edition original packs and all that. Trying to make a bit of money and shaft you, but uh, really? Either that or the glue is very weak. Who knows? But uh, the world of eBay is a very dangerous place. All right. Well, this may be a, re uh, a reseal job. I don't know. Again, could be weak glue. We'll see. We've got Fire Yaru. Dark King of the Abyss. Maybe I'll send him on to the person who sold me these cards and tell him to get lost and then do nasty things. Beast Fangs. So basically all beasts need to go to the dentist to check that their false teeth are correct, I suppose. I don't know. I don't know where I was going with that. Spike Cedra. Does have a few spikes on it. Fair enough. I believe you. And then the Darkfire Dragon, which I was talking about earlier, which again is pretty popular even today, I think, in the modern game, if you combine it with Instant Fusion. And again, no hollow, sadly, but we've got Sojin, which is the old field spell card to help warriors and beast warriors out. We've got the Armoured Starfish, which I don't know where the armour is, but I'm guessing maybe this green stuff here is, uh, my finger can get in the right place, is uh, strong. Like, I don't know, some sort of special organic stuff. Who knows? It's armoured. I'll take its word for it. The Beaver Warrior. Oh, yes. It protects all beavers. Be careful, gentlemen. Or lesbians, I don't know. And Silver Fang, there we go. Howling away at the moon because he's angry at that crap joke I made, and I apologise in advance for that. Right, we have... How many packs have we got left? Uh, three Metal Raiders. I can't go slower than I thought I was, actually. Oh, well, never mind. I suppose that's expected of me as near Rambler, because that's what I do. Let's go to the next Metal Raiders pack, then. Our fourth pack. Let's see what we get. Right. We have Steel Scorpion. It is a scorpion. I'm sure it's made of steel. Quite scary. Or not. I don't know. Ancient Elf. Lots of ancient cards. But hey, it was back in ancient Egypt when these existed. So whatever. Water Omatix or Omatix, which again, I think is censored. Because I think the original one was either naked, I think, in the Japanese version. If I remember correctly. Why do I know that? Because I'm weird. King of Yami, Yami Makai. Yami Makai. I don't know. Cool monster. Used in um, with Panic, wasn't it? In the original uh, Julius Kingdom anime. Pretty cool. And the Fake Trap. Oh, that's quite cool, actually. Because, again, I've been playing Yu-Gi-Oh! Jewels of the Roses recently as a cheap hit uh, to get back into Yu-Gi-Oh! a little bit. Well, not get back into it, but just to relive the glory days. And, yeah, Fake Trap um, is in the game with the slot machines. If you don't uh, get any cards in there, or if you don't fill up the graveyard slot machine with your opponent's cards in the graveyard, then you get the Fake Trap. It always does various things. What does it do in real life? Activate only when your opponent activates a spell, trap, or effect monster's effect that would destroy a trap card you control. Destroy this card instead. Yeah. I suppose it used to be quite useful back in the day. I quite like Fate Trap. No Hollow again, but we have the Sword of Deep-Seated Evil. I think we had that before last time. It's still following me. The Seven Coloured Fish. There you go. Again, is it working for the LGBT community? Probably not, and I don't think it wants it either. The Dream Clown. It grants your dreams, and then it kills you, because that's its price. It's quite expensive. Not many people take him up on his offer. And the Jellyfish. What an original name. But it is what it is. And they're quite deadly, so I'll accept it for now. Right, yeah, I think we are drying up on the hollows. I think we're only going to get the two this time, but that's fine. We had two good ones and an ultra rare. Let's just get through the rest. Yeah, that, again, opened up really weakly. Um, I don't know. Oh, well, whatever. So we've got Urabe! 
He was very angry he's not the next T-Rex in the next uh, Jurassic Park film. Forest. Again, original title, but even so, you don't want to get lost in that. Lots of bugs. <gasps> the M Warrior number two to remind us that he is here and he is number two. And he's happy with that. Fair enough. The Mammoth Graveyard. Again, very happy with himself that he is a mammoth and he's from the graveyard. And how is he able to walk around and do his thing? I thought he was extinct. Maybe he's part of the Resident Evil comeback t virus -y thing. I bought joke rubbish. And the giant soldier of stone. One of Yugi's staple cards again in the original series. He's a giant soldier made of stone. What more do you bloody want? And then we've got Petit Angel, which I think was used with Taya. It's weird. It's creepy. Let it go. The succubus Knight. Now we're talking. That's more like my kind of thing. She can kill me any day of the week. Uh, Kurama or Kurama. He's pretty cool looking, but very weak in attack and defense. But whatever. It was the early days. And the mystical moon, which I think Yugi uses to stop the tide or bring the tide forward when he's battling Mako Tsunami. And then to beat him, he gets the giant soldier of stone to attack the moon. And everybody thought it was silly. But then, you know, the original anime didn't really follow the rules of the game. And then later on, they actually made an, they made a card, I think, that, that did a similar thing. I don't know. Weird. But anyway... It is what it is. I should be putting the rares aside, and I'm not. I was doing that. I'll do a bit of housekeeping at the end like I did last time. And we'll have a quick summary. Right, let's press on then. Fifth Metal Raiders booster packs. Come on, we need another foil, even if it's just a crappy super rare. Pale Beast. It's not actually that pale, but that might be the HDR that I've got applied to this video. Who knows? Another Water Omatix. Just a reminder that she's hot, but you can't see it. Rainbow Flower. Yeah, we've had enough of you, buddy. <gasps> Baby Dragon. Yay. She combines with Time Wizard with uh, polymerization to make um, Thousand Dragon, or in the anime series, just does it anyway. Another Witch's Apprentice. You can't have more than one. Actually, now I tell a lie. You can have more than one. You can't have. Um, you can't have a good joke from Near Rambler. There you go. That's fine. Seven Coloured Fish. The Guardian of the Labyrinth. He's guarding all the bloody holographs. You little bastard. Give me some hollows. I need some now. Lady of Faith, please, you'll get some hollows near Rambler. No, I won't, my nasty bloke, never mind. And the Ancient Brain, basically reminding me I'm nasty and that when I die, I'm going to hell, and so will you if you don't change your ways. Oh, creepy. Right, the penultimate Blue Eyes pack. Let's see what we can get. Come on. That one opened up a little bit better, so hopefully not a reseal. Hey, Skull Servant. Well, that makes everything better. He's a fun card to play with nowadays anyway. And he was a short print, apparently, in the original booster pack. I never knew that, so that's cool. I think I've got three of them now, but from the original booster pack and a reprint. So that's great. Awesome. Another Silver Fang. And we've got Flame Manipulator, who... I don't know, he's like that angsty guy of X-Men, I think. I can't remember. Whatever, it doesn't matter. Firegrass! Perhaps he can manipulate him. Or well, the Firegrass really manipulates him. And basically, they're toing and throwing over power and control. Ooh. Well, I'll let you carry on with that bloke. Right. Charabin the Fire Knight. Another rubbishy fusion monster. But it is what it is. And still no hollow. Oh, the disappointment continues. Darkwell Thorns is laughing at me now. The raised body he's. I'm getting angry. The fire you see. Now you've set me on fire. And then an enchanting mermaid came and made it all better. Except that part never happens. True story. Right. Last booster pack then. Uh, well, last Metal Raiders even, sorry. Yeah. Right. I've got to speed this up before I have to stop the video again. Because I get it in every course in 10 minute intervals. It's bizarre. But whatever's. That's what you get for quality. The Illusionist Faceless Mage. Is it an illusion that he has a faceless face? Uh, faceless face. I don't care. No one does. The Rock Ogre Grotto number one. He is happy. Look at him punching the fist in the air. Again, can't really speak today. Mystic Lamp. Hunter Spider. Magician of Faith. Good rare. No hollow. Boo. We've got the Tainted Wisdom, which again is basically my brain. The Gigatech Wolf. Pretty cool card. Always like that one. Ah, the Musician King. What a twat. No one likes him. But then again, he made millions of pounds with his rock music. So, eh, whatever's good for him, I say. And the Lava Battle Guards, which was, um, was it Tristan or Jerry's card in the original? Can't remember. One of the two. Maybe we'll get the other half later. Or not, because we're out of Metal Raiders booster packs. Boo! Right then, got to pause the video once again, and then we shall end with this pack, and let's see if we can get something good. The answer to that is probably not. Okay. boop a boo Oh, that one opened up easy as well. See, I've got three booster packs from one guy, one booster pack from another guy, and then two booster packs from a lady, I think. So, yeah. Oh, well. Trial of Nightmare. That is my coffin when I go to hell. In a way, at least it's badass looking, so I suppose I can't complain. Follow Winds. No, it smells. Hitotsumi Giant. Yeah, he's pretty big, but I wouldn't want to hit him, even though he ask he's asking me to. The 13th Grave. Yep, that's not my grave, but that's... 
a grave that's the 13th it'll be my 13th grave when i die for the 13th time in this reality and dark fire dragon and that's our lot. Wow, we had a really great start and then a rubbish end. How lame is that? Oh, well, we end with Dragon Treasure. Yeah, well, I wish it was more valuable than it is. The Kamutu Toko thing. It's just a Spider-Man. Get used to it. Oh, no, they couldn't use Spider-Man because of trademark infringement. <sighs> I see what you did there. The Beaver Warrior, again, guarding all ladies everywhere. And the Silver Fang to end on once again. So, yeah, pretty crap, really. So, really, the only thing to really summarise on, apart from all the rares we saw, is these two. But at least we got two hollows from Metal Raiders, and one is a very good one. So, at least I'm happy with that. God, I need to stop doing these. It's such a waste of money, and I've got so much bad luck. But never mind. It is what it is. So, can I say thank you very much for watching? If you have done, take it easy. Have a good one. Hope you're well. Maybe we'll do the other two booster packs in the future. The autofocus is going crazy. I'm speaking too fast, and now you're sick and tired. I'm probably quite sick because the autofocus causing motion sickness. Sorry about that. Anyway, have a good one. I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.